Hi, everybody. I wanted to thank you for the good job that you did in uh, finding these um, apps and add-ons and extensions. Um, you, you hit all of those three categories as well as the um, scripts. And um, there aren't too many scripts anymore that, <laughs> that we find unless we're creating them ourselves. And I don't do scripts. So anyway, there are some really cool ones, however. Um, but uh, the, the reason that I look at these um, mainly is as you're going through this course on um, multimedia applications is just to be able to see how easily not only you can create multimedia um, uh, files, but also how your students can do that. And um, as we could see through some of the things that you shared, there are a lot of tools that can substitute for, you know, really good tools, um, but that people might not have access to. For instance, Christopher talked about flat and kind of as a substitute for the $500 um, software application that he used. And, you know, is it perfect? No, it's not. But it can do what a student needs it to do. And I mean, I, I, I'm all for the professionalism, you know, in the classroom and all that. And, um, you know, as you guys create that, I like to, I, I like to push that. I like it to be um, a really well done uh, piece. But at the same time, um, we're in real life. And I think that as long as the communication is uh, what it needs to be, that you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's a professionally done video or, um, you know, doc or whatever it is that you're asking your students to create. And so I, um, and, or that I'm asking my students, you guys, to create. Um, so I think that, um, that it's helpful to keep these things in mind and where to find things and, and also just grab things from each other that you saw. Um, a lot of productivity tools, but a lot of tools that you can use in the classroom as well, um, from Orange Slice to Grammarly to um, Virtual Piano Black um, uh, to the, you know, Excel, the Fluberoo, um, which is a script. Um, Kelly talked about MindMeister, and that was really good. And Just Not Sorry, that's kind of a fun one to use. If you're like me, you're apologizing all the time in your email, and it just kind of underlines in red when you're saying, well, this is just a notice to, you know, just a, you know, so you're taking out some of those words that um, that you really don't want to say, but you're kind of qualifying everything that you say <laughs> a lot of times. And so I've learned a lot from just seeing uh, the things that it takes out. Um, Screencastify uh, or Screencastomatic, uh, any of those uh, is really good. Um, Matthew talked about productivity tools, EasyBib, um, the table of contents tool. That's really a, a cool one if you're writing a paper. Um, in fact, if you guys um, haven't taken the Ed Research class yet, you might consider that when you're doing your um, some of your work there. Although we don't do a proposal anymore, we just do the lit review, but it's really helpful. Um, Orange Slice is um, a good one um, that Melissa shared about uh, just creating rubrics. And it makes rubric creation really easy. Um, Kaizena is great for giving feedback because students can hear the enthusiasm in your voice or maybe even the disappointment in your voice when you're giving feedback to them about um, something that they've produced. And um, Justin talked about um, Uber Conference sidebar. And uh, some of those sidebar things are really helpful because they can be used directly. Um, one that wasn't caught was um, Google Keep. And I don't know if you guys use that, but um, it's so handy because you can use it, you know, from your phone, from any other device, from your um, computer. Google Keep, in fact, is a an extension, a, a Google Chrome extension. So the best thing to do when you're using all these Google tools is to use Google Chrome because it gives you all of this functionality that works together to um, make your world a little easier to live with. And um, Google Keep, you can create um, images in there and then you can pull them in as kind of a sidebar in Google Docs or slides and just slide your pictures in. And um, that works really well. And then Paul, I think, also had some productivity tools that were really good. Um, and uh, 
Grammarly was one of those. Um, again, just tools that can make your life easier or even make your neighbor's life easier if you're always running to um, someone else to ask them to proof things for you. Um, several of you talked about those types of tools and, and they really are important and helpful. So I hope you found some good stuff in here. Um, a lot of times I wish the class was bigger when we have a smaller class, you've got 10 um, in this class, but if there were 20, just think of, you'd get double the, uh, um, the ideas in here. So, um, but keep in mind where you find these things and um, just go look from time to time. You can do some cool searches. You can also search for, um, you know, like just go in your Omnibox on your Chrome browser and say, um, good extensions for and, you know, or um, teacher extensions or the top 10 extensions or something. You see those articles all the time there. And um, those things are worth reading. And so I, I hope that you have benefited from this. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. And um, thank you for uh, the hard work that you did in this.